double, took the double header on one loss. Min. Yes, let's go Min. Straight into the Min. Ching, the Min. Cans Mullins hosting Mackay. There's some big games in the Min. Um, Cans on a seven or eight game winning streak. The Mackay weren't too far behind. And uh, final score, Cans 100, defeated Mackay 91. Uh, Dwayne Vale had 27 for Cans, and Matt Gange had 26 for the Meteors, and it was a good close game. You know, uh, the uh, Cans were up early, 21 points, and Kai got it, cut the gap to 16 in the third quarter, and then uh, they, they cut it down a little bit, but the game was over at halftime. Cans are stamping themselves on this competition. The, the, they are the team you do not want to face. Yep, they've got four losses that might they might not host, but now that puts Mackay to two losses. So, great game. Then we go to a not so great game. Maruchador hosting the Rockhampton Rockets. Maruchador 63, Rockets 90. And the 27 point victory to the Rockets. Travis Reed 28. Clippers player coach Gianni Constantello 17 points. Uh, sadly for Maruchador, that was pretty much the result everyone expected. Uh, you've got to agree with that because uh, there's a daylight between the difference between both teams and you know, Rockhampton will want to go into this um, two-way trip with both victories. Yeah, well, they want to get both and uh, they've still only got one loss, Rocky, as of the print. Southwest hosted uh, Gladstone and the Pirates got back on track. A big win, 83-72 over the Gladstone Power, and uh, Zach Silverman, 21 points, Kenny Barnes, 19, and uh, the Pirates got back on track, winning by 11. That was a game they had to win. Yes. And they did, so they're right in the thick of things for that second playoff spot. Every game they win, every game Toowoomba loses, puts it, and Gold Coast loses, puts it a little bit more in Southwest favor. Uh, Northside hosted Toowoomba, and uh, Pretty much what you would have expected. Northside 93 uh, defeated the visiting Toowoomba Mountaineer 77. Um, it was Lewis Hurd 28 and uh, youngster ad hoc Mock Way put a big match with Toowoomba 25 points. Never heard of this guy before. Well, I've seen him play during the preseason. He's a good young African kid. African kid who can play point guard. Uh, uh, Toowoomba's been really inconsistent with their point guard play, and it's really hurting them at the end. Hopefully, they can find someone that can solidify the spot like they did with uh, Southwestern uh, Ryan Vines. Oh, sounds like he's a good young player. So then we go to Townsville. In another big matchup, Mackay having suffered just their second loss the night before up in Kansas, that nine point loss. Townsville, overtime, 109 defeated Mackay, 107 in overtime. And uh, Mackay, they had to uh, hit a score at the buzzer to send it into overtime. Townsville led for most of the game. I see Townsville, Todd Blanchfield at a round high 38 points and 12 rebounds. Nick Cedar shot 33 points for Mackay. That's the, uh, that'll give loss number three to Mackay. Rocky sitting there on one loss as of that, as of that game. Um, and Cairns are on four losses, and I think Ipswich are on three losses. So that, that opened it right up, the whole the, competition. The thing that's scary is that Townsville lost two games versus Southwest and Gold Coast without three of their best players. If they had won those games against Southwest and Gold Coast, would they could have been in the thick of things too. Yeah, well, Four powers in the north, there's no doubt. There is no power anywhere in the south. Um, then we go to the uh, NAB Aachen Dome, Vince Hickey Stadium, where the uncast up capitals playing the game before the six o'clock game, the warm up game. And they were defeated by Ipswich 82-71. Some people say that the score was I, close. I watched that game. Uh, that they were they, they didn't have Gleason, they didn't have Jeffries. No Gleason, no Jeffries. Uh, Jason Ralph played 36 minutes. 
Uh, Zarin Freddie, 29 points. Bearstone was sitting to 17 for the Caps. I heard it was close, but it was, when it you was take out uh, you take out those two, Jeffries and Gleason, that's 30 points. Of course, it's going to be close. But still, like uh, the, it was close with two minutes to go, and then they just some silly mistakes at the offense end. Ipswich capitalized. There it goes. And now the round, the game, the upset of the century. The Bundaberg Bulls 80 have beaten, not beaten up, the Rockhampton Rockets 80-73. That is one for the ages, and that one right there just pretty much guaranteed that the uncashed up Capitals will not make it with four or five wins. They will probably will not be in the playoffs. That victory right there put Bundy at five wins and shocked the uh, host state um, well, it's not done and dusted in terms of Bundaberg getting the second spot, but it's still a very, like, it's one of those wins I didn't really expect. And when you had Toowoomba and Ipswich and Mackay coming up, like, that is a huge get to get. Huge get. No one would have picked it. I wouldn't have picked it. We get didn't either. No one did. Yeah. No one would have picked it. Bundy up there, you know, they, they've sacked the coach, and he left, and they got a new coach again. Yeah. So that must work. All happy and rosy. Everything's all good and great in Bundy. So watch them storm through to the 2012 QBL Premiership. It does. It does help. Right. That, it does. <laughs> it does help that Roderick Stewart is getting to some form too. Yeah. Yeah. Like when mean, you when you come a little bit unfit in the start of the season, like if he was a lot more fitter, like a lot of the games that they lost, they could have. Possibly one. Neither one of their imports were fit at the start of the yeah. season. I saw Shaq play here and he wasn't in shape either. They're in shape now and Rod Stewart is class. Yeah. He's a classy he got player, played at uh, USC and Kansas for God's sake. So yeah. that tells you his uh, pedigree. Yeah. The guy is a class player, knows his role well, you know, but, um, you know, and Shaq, what do you have, 25 and 12 or something like that? 23 and 12? Yeah. You know, Mitch Phil, 29, and, uh, you know, Bundy, they've really only got five, maybe six players, so it's not real hard to just rotate guys in. Yeah. Uh, the last game of the round, Gold Coast defeated Gladstone 78-71, and uh, I uh, went and saw that game, actually, and i got to say, I bag out Gladstone for losing all the time, and uh, they have lost, but I must admit, they play hard. They have a crack, no Silverman, I don't know what was wrong with him, no Meyerding, and they gave it a roll. They were up at halftime, they shot the hell out of the ball, and they had a crack, but they're this tall. You know, to take Illa Baldwin out of the team, they've got no size. I was very impressed with Dale and Nikki and the boys there. Like, I don't know if they play that hard all the time, but with having two American-born players out, they impressed me. You know, Gold Coast won the game, yes, and I think they controlled it after halftime. They're pretty much, the third quarter shut it down. But but Gladstone came back. My Gold Coast problem is got too many players, man. Too many, too many cooks fall to broth. You know, he's got 16 players down there. Some stage you got to decide on who eight's going to play for him. He has got talent, but he's trying to keep everyone happy. That's just my read on the game. But it was a big win for Gold Coast to keep their playoff hopes alive. But that's another good, uh, another player. Um, there's another guy like uh, Kevin Gaines, who's another pedigree class player. He played at Michigan State. Like, he hasn't played for years, so there is a lot of good talent in this league. And uh, I didn't expect Gladstone to win Gold Coast because Gold Coast is also at a must-win situation. Yeah. You've got to keep, you've got to keep Southwest at bay and uh, yeah. every win counts. Kevin Gaines is tough, goes in basket, cannot shoot a lick. You know, if you're going to defend Kevin Gaines, give him a meter. Take away his drive. The guy's tough. Playing uh, over, playing uh, undersized. He impressed me. Can't shoot, but he gets around the ring. He's six three or whatever. Uh, yeah, he's good, but he's certainly not the player that he was before. I don't think. Because you know, he's been God knows where for the last five years. But he's yeah tough. I like him. So upsets. Few upsets. Townsville over Mackay. Rocky over Bundy. Or Bundy over Rocky. Sets it all up, man. Now, Rocky's got two losses, top of the ladder, but Bundy's, or uh, Ippy's got three losses, Kai's got three losses, and Cairns have four losses. Cairns are looming as the dark horses. And 
with God's help, 